Hi guys, just wanted to give you a quick update on the Aerodump NG scan visualizer. Uh, now, I'm shooting this in a very impromptu way and you might hear my dog from time to time, so bear with me. Uh, the first thing which we've done is now we've added support for CSV, which will be the primary way to accept input because the CSV right now contains more details than the NetXML. Now once you uploaded it, as I showed you in a previous video, you can go click visualize and this will take you to the actual visualization UI. Now a couple of additions. The first is that we've added filters, right? Just as I told you before. So you can click on any one of the columns and beautifully it asks you what you want to start the ESSID filter with. So let's say I want to look at a network such as HP setup. And if you notice as I'm typing along, any match which begins with HP, of course, case insensitive is shown here. And notice we have the filter expression appearing in here. So I can leave this filter in here partially and then add another filter and say, okay, alongside with this, I'm interested in Bloom you let's say hyphen secure so now i get all the access points with essid either beginning with hp as you can see here or beginning with bloom you hyphen secure now thanks to my good friend phil polstra for going ahead and providing this to us so this is how i've applied the essid filter now let's try and apply basically some other interesting filter. Now, as far as signal is concerned, sometimes we might see slightly anomalous values like minus one. So what I want to do is give a signal range, right? Something which is very far away isn't very interesting. So at the very least, let's say, I'd like to have a minus 40 dB signal strength. And just to weed out the minus ones and all of that, I'm just going to say maximum is minus 10. And there you go. Now we beautifully get in that range. You can change this to let's say 39 as well. Now you notice the filter expression tells you what different filters you've added. You can remove all the filters by clearing them up at one shot. Now Let's look at BSSID as an example. Let's say, and at this point you would actually notice that the HP setup has disappeared because its signal strength isn't in this range. Now, this inequality filter can be applied for packets, clients, and signal, all three of them. Now, you can even do other advanced stuff such as channel. Let's say we are only interested in channel 11. So we get this and maybe we decide to add six in the mix as well and we get this. Of course, the regular sorting is allowed, right? Just like before, uh, we could apply BSSID filters as well. So let's say we are only interested in clients which begin with 10.8 CCF, right? Maybe we have a device driver based vulnerability for a specific manufacturer. We can do a 10.8 C. Yes, right and the filter expression tells you what has been applied now as pen testers a lot of times when you go ahead and drill down it's interesting for us to get a screenshot right and that's why we've added screenshots at two levels one is at the app level where we get a screenshot for the entire app so you can click on the screenshot button let me call this fullapp.jpg and I can open this up and there you go. You have a screenshot of the full app. No need to waste any time uh, in going back and forth, you know, trying to uh, do a screenshot selectively. Now, apart from this, you could, let's say, clear all the filters. We have a lot of stuff and then apply a screenshot selectively on whatever you can see. Now I'm shooting this video in a low resolution, in a slightly high resolution, you would find more number of rows in it. So let me quickly apply a 
privacy filter and say I'm only interested in open uh, APs. Just a second. Let me apply this filter. I'm going to clear all the filters. Let's go in here. So we have WPA, and here is where we have open APs, right? Now, let's say I would like to go ahead and only look at clients beginning with 10.8 CCF. So I'm going to do a Ten eight C. So it looks like small bugs here and there. Don't worry, we'll iron it out. Uh, you know, in a later uh, iteration, shall happen very shortly. And there you go. We can see that, right? Of course, we see some null SSID networks, or rather hidden SSID networks, which we aren't interested in. So I'm just going to go ahead and say, I'm just interested in Bloom U. Let's say hyphen open, right? Now at this point, uh, let's say let's apply a little bit of a signal filter as well. So I'm going to go ahead and say anything which is above minus 39 is interesting to me, right? Or maybe minus 40. And at this point, if I want a screenshot not of the whole app, just of this table, I could just go ahead, click this, and just say data table or jpg right go back in here and there you go now you have it just of the data table and this can be very easily used in a report in a matter of seconds rather than wasting your time screenshotting and then trying to modify it and all of that and the full app of course tells you which filters have been applied and all of that as well right okay so we are implementing a lot of stuff now we have roaming clients available so let me first remove all the filters click roaming clients so these are all the roaming clients now currently the only filter is by mac address but i'm going to be adding the probe dssids and all of that as well so you could now go back and have an additional filter here for probe dssids and the APs with clients which are probing for a specific ESSID would be shown in the case of the connected clients and for roaming of course you would see the roaming clients right so more filter expressions and all of that is going to come in here and of course eventually the all beautiful visualize will come in later but I think for version 0.1 for release it's going to be the data table with all the filters and everything applied okay hopefully you enjoyed this little demo please let me know your feedback look forward to hear from you thank you